Let's go out to Petco Park in San Diego, and Ben Gessling of MassInSports.com is standing by. And Ben, uh, what a nice sight to see Steven Strasburg out yesterday throwing in front of Jim Riggleman and Steve McCaddy. That's a great sign, another step in his progress coming back from that Tommy John surgery. Yeah, it was funny because I was talking to a couple people with the Nationals who weren't even really sure he was going to be here. There was talk about him possibly coming out here, and obviously he's from here, so it worked out schedule-wise. The extended spring training program he was doing in Florida was shut down for about a week as they get ready for the Gulf Coast season. So it just worked out for him well scheduling-wise, and obviously MLB Network had the camera in the ballpark and picked it up, and it kind of went on TV almost like a viral video for a, a new Hollywood action movie or something, kind of something to get you excited about what's coming. It, it was anything out of the ordinary from what he's been doing. He threw about 30 to 40 fastballs, threw a few change-ups, playing catch, isn't throwing breaking balls yet. But for the Nationals, it was just nice to see him, and, and I'm sure for fans to see him, a, a few shots of him on TV, I'm sure that was nice too. Yeah, Ben, I'm sure it's got to be a lift for the ball club, not only to mention Steven, because he's been away from these guys for such a long time. Surgery nine months ago had to be a big lift for everybody. Yeah, I think it was. I talked to Drew Storen a little bit. They got a chance to, to talk to him a little bit. He wasn't here for very long. I think he had some things he wanted to go do, wanted to go see some friends probably over at San Diego State and, and probably duck out before the media had a chance to pepper him with a bunch of questions about it too. But, but I think for his teammates, it was good to see him. There, there's no question the lift he gave this team last year. Everybody knew it. Everybody admitted this kid's already the ace of this staff. And, and to get a pitcher like that back at some, whenever you get him back, whether it's September or next year, everybody knows what that does for you. So I think for them to see him just kind of in the flesh, see him throwing and know that he's doing well and know that he's progressing in the right direction, yeah, that's a big lift for the team. Ben, is there, before I let you go, is there an outside chance we may see Steven on the mound before this year's up? Well, at this point, I think it's uh, the, the timing of it is going to be a little bit tricky. If you go back to what Jordan Zimmerman did last year, and it, it's kind of there's somewhat of a parallel there because he had the surgery about a month before Stephen did in 2009. Stephen had his obviously in 2010. But if you if you look at it that way, it took Jordan Zimmerman about five months to go from throwing on the mound for the first time to getting back into a major league game, and Stephen did that for the first time. Uh, in late May, so if that all happens, he would be late October, so the timetable would have to get sped up a little bit. There's a chance, I think, probably it's 2012, but he's obviously been a guy that's worked quick and, and healed quickly before, so there's a chance we maybe see him in September. Ben, it's always a pleasure, buddy. Thank you so much. You can always check out uh, Ben Gessling at MassInSports.com.